Every one of us has boring and mundane things that we need to accomplish in our day-to-day -day life in order to achieve our goals and dreams. And yet, what if I told you that the only reason that those things are boring and mundane is because of the way that we're thinking about them? Hang with me, let's go. In order to effectively move through this, it's gonna be critical that the first thing that we do is understand why we perceive things as boring and mundane to begin with. As I'm sure you can understand, not everything that you find boring does everybody in the world find boring. Instead, there's things that you find mundane, and yet somebody else out there in the world is inspired and exhilarated about going out and doing that same thing. The things that you resist doing, they're excited about going and doing. And so why is that? Well, we can actually relate this back to a field of study known as axiology. Axiology is the study of value and worth. And through axiology, we can observe that every human being has a hierarchy of values. The things that they value most in life down to the things that they potentially don't even value at all. Now, the things that we value most in life, we're inspired to go and do. We don't need necessarily outside accountability and motivation because we have inspiration instead. Inspiration being from the spirit within. We're automatically moved and energized to go fulfill our highest values. As an example, if you're a mother who wakes up every morning in the first thing on your mind is the children, the children's education, the children's after school activities, you know, the children's health, the children's well-being. Well, then we can probably deduce that you have a high value on raising those children. If you're a business owner and you wake up every morning and the first thing that you start thinking about is your business, your business's strategy, the projects critical to the business, the finances of the business, the projects that you're working on. Well, then we can probably deduce that you have a high value on business. And so when it comes to those things, you're going to be inspired to go and do the work. You're much less likely to find it boring and mundane because the things that are highest in our values we are willing to experience both both pain and pleasure in equal proportion in order to go out and execute on those things. As a parent, would you agree that raising children is both painful and pleasurable? But you'll still go do it if you have a high value on children. As a business owner, would you agree that building a business is painful and pleasurable? But you'll still go do it if you have a high enough value on business. Inevitably, you run across these things that we find boring and mundane. We resist them. We don't want to do them. We don't feel inspired about doing them. And the reason for that is that we don't see how doing those things is ultimately supporting our highest values. So let's say that you know the boring and mundane thing that we're resisting doing is going to the gym as an example. Well, if this mother doesn't see how going to the gym is gonna be a benefit to her highest values, she's gonna hesitate, procrastinate, get frustrated, sabotage, resist it, and say, I don't know, I tried it, but I, just, I hate it, it's so boring and mundane. If this business owner doesn't see how the gym is supporting their values, then they're gonna say much the same thing. They're gonna experience a lot of the same symptoms, procrastination, hesitation, frustration, self-sabotage, and these sorts of things. But when we can take this boring and mundane thing that we feel like we have to do or need to do and we can link it back to the things that we value most, then we feel inspired to go do the work. If this mother, as an example, can see how going to the gym is gonna help her have more energy to take care of the kids and help her be able to play with the kids longer, potentially maybe even help her live longer and be in good enough shape that she can spend more years with her grandkids one day and create more meaningful memories, well then over time, she's likely to learn how to love going to the gym. If this business owner can see how going to the gym helps create more brain-derived neural factor that allows them to be more mentally acute in making decisions in their business, how it gives them more energy so they can push through more of the projects in their business every day, well then over time they can learn to love doing this thing that they once called boring and mundane. So once we know what we value, what our highest values are, we really have two choices. We can do what we love by delegation, meaning that we do the things that we love doing because we see how they support our values and everything else that we don't love doing, we can then delegate to somebody else and that's what I currently do in my business. However, for most of us watching this right now, that might not be a feasible opportunity for whatever reason. So the other option is to then learn to love what we do by linking. In other words, linking these boring and mundane tasks back to the values that we appreciate, feel most fulfilled by, and see how doing those things are gonna help us fulfill our values. When we do that, we are then inspired to go and do the work. When we live by our highest values, we have inspiration. When we have tasks that, are, that seem to get further and further away from the things that we value most in life, 
We find them boring and mundane. We resist them. And unfortunately, what we resist persists, as I'm sure you've probably heard before. So this secret right here, this hierarchy of values, is easily one of the greatest success secrets that I've ever discovered in my life. And if you want to learn more about it and how to discover what your real values are, the things that inspire you, the things that empower you, the ways in which to build a life that revolves around the things that you love doing so you can fill your bank account and fill your soul, well then I'm going to link to another video around here where I'm going to go much deeper on that topic and give you the opportunity to get clear about the things that you value in your life, which by the way, 99.9% .9 of people are very, very much unclear about. In fact, quite frankly, they're lying to themselves about the things that they value. And you'll understand what I mean by that when you watch the video that we'll link to somewhere around here. If you got value out of this video, my friend, well then I want to make sure that you go ahead and subscribe, hit that little like button down below, and again, subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you get notified every week when I drop more content like this designed to help you create more success in your life and your business. By the way, my name is Kiala Kanai. I'm an entrepreneur that got started a few short years ago working in a coffee shop for minimum wage and I've gone on now to create multiple seven and eight figure businesses. I say that so that you know that everything that I share on my channel are the things that have helped me create those results and I share them here with you in hopes that they help you create similar results. Subscribe, hit that little bell notification. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Make sure you watch that next video in the lineup. I'll see you there.